Hey guys, May 20th, 2010, and I'd like to touch on an article, um, and actually a topic, and that is the Gulf oil spill. And it's not just a spill, it's a dumping, okay? Their initial estimates were 5,000 barrels a day, okay? And they repeated that over and over again for three weeks, okay? They're finally telling us that it's much worse than that, okay? Um, first of all, I'd like to read you just a couple of the titles of, of the um, alternative media uh, articles, since we're not hearing very much of this on mainstream media. I wonder why. Um, the cover-up, BP's crude politics, and the looming environmental mega-disaster. Uh, that's one. Another one is U.S. Coast Guard threatens CBS reporters with arrest for filming the oil spill. Okay. Now, why in the world would they do that? Why would they threaten to arrest? But they did get some footage, and uh, it shows some dying sea turtles on shore. Kind of a sad picture. Um, sick fishermen and oily smells on the Gulf. Yesterday in Venice, Louisiana, fishermen and local residents called to a press conference to talk, to talk about the air. People complained of the oily smells when the wind blew off the water, and uh, a lot of them are getting headaches, nosebleeds, asthma attacks, cough, nausea, and vomiting from the stench of the oil spill. And that's a tough one, guys. You know, we should be able to have a handle on it. And my contention in making this video is that is that why isn't something being done? And why isn't something being said? Okay, we we're told 5,000 barrels a day. But why are they coming out now? This article here um, says that it's... It's, it's uh, well, the title is Gulf Oil Spill Leak Now Pegged at 95,000 Barrels a Day. Okay, that's a lot more than 5,000 barrels a day. And this isn't the only one saying it. Um, I'll just read you this short article. The latest video footage of a leaking Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico show that oil is escaping at a rate of 95,000 barrels. That's 4 million gallons a day. Guys, they know that it's more than 5,000 barrels a day. The figure of 5,000 barrels a day or 210,000 gallons that the federal government have been using in weeks in the past weeks is based on satellite observations from space in looking at the surface of the water. That's what they're coming up with. Uh, Steve Werley, an associate professor of mechanical engineering at Purdue University, earlier this month made a sim sam simple calculations from a video BP released on May 12th and came up with a flow of 70,000 barrels a day. Okay, And he says that it could be off about 20%, so it could range from 76,000 to 104,000 barrels a day uh, leaking into the Gulf. And guys, you know, we don't have, we don't have a clue. And I'm not saying that this was done on purpose, okay? I don't, I don't, nobody knows that. But my contention is how they're dealing with the issue, okay? We live in the most advanced country in the world. Surely we have the technology to go down there and plug that and, and stop it from leaking out and affecting ecosystems potentially, okay? If this gets into the, the stream, the Gulf Stream and heading up the, the, um, Eastern Seaboard. I mean, guys, come on. Or a hurricane? You ever thought about that? There was somebody mentioned that. I mean, that. Imagine that. Another Katrina. Who? Anyway, uh, the true extent of this spill remains a mystery. Um, Marky said. He said that British Petroleum had said that the flow rate was not relevant to the cleanup effort. That makes no sense. This faulty logic that BP is using is raising concerns that they are hiding the full extent of the damage of the leak. And again, that's my issue. Why aren't they telling us? Mainstream media, is, they've, they're, they're not telling us anything. I mean, a few blips here and there, but they're not telling us what needs to be told. And that's the truth on the issue. Okay, you can't say that it's 5,000 barrels a day when it's actually closer to 100,000 barrels a day. Or 4 million gallons. It's frustrating. 
and I feel sorry for the people down there involved in the industry, you know, having to deal with that. You know, and there's even talk of evacuations off the coast. Hope it doesn't come to that, but, you know, if they don't get this stopped, okay, you know, what do they expect? It's going to happen. Um, do your research, guys. And I, and I haven't said anything so far on this, this issue. I've said very little. And I wanted to wait and see what was happening out there, what was being said in the media. And, and uh, I think it's, it's uh, coming, becoming pretty clear of what's happening. The real extent of the issue is being hid. For what reasons? Well, Rahm Emanuel says that it's 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 a horrible thing to let uh, a disaster go to waste. You know, they want to squeeze something like this for all it's worth to extend the government. Anyway, I'll stop ranting. You guys have a good evening. Take care.